Wait. Hello, good morning. Uh, we're here in Bishopville, South Carolina. We were at the State Fair last night. Uh, we got there kind of late around 7, but we still got to go in and eat plenty of uh, uh, State Fair food. And we, we got Wiley uh, a turkey leg, and we had uh, elephant ears, which is like a deep fried cake with uh, a Bavarian cream on top, which was really good. Me and Kathy shared one of those, and I didn't even care if it was all over my mouth. And um, we came to uh, Bishopville today, which is about 40 six miles from Columbia, South Carolina, which is where State Fair was held. And uh, we got us a room here at an Econo Lodge. And we just woke up and showered and fresh, and we're gonna go see the Button King here in Bishopville, South Carolina, which is in the heart of Lee County, uh, South Carolina. And uh, we are about to leave and find our way down the main street to see the Button King. See you there. Uh, on this episode, we visited the Button King here in Bishopville, South Carolina. And for your GPS, for your off the beaten path road trip, uh, Button King is located at 55 Joe Doherty Road. That's spelled D O R I T Y, Bishopville, South Carolina, 29010. So, so your your wife Ruth, she was like Ruby. Ruby? Yeah. Uh, she was extremely supportive of of your button. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. What what year did you start? Uh. In '83. In '83, and uh, Button King, do you do you still suffer from insomnia? Yeah. 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 You sleep during the day or just don't sleep? I get shot up. I said about an hour a day. Yeah. Uh, I have w one question. I was curious about. Where, where did you get the hearse and, and the caskets? Uh, you know, I'm yeah, they were donated to you? Yeah, yeah. Both of them at the same time or you asked for another one? No, they gave me the second one. Yeah. Well, was it your idea to, to put buttons on a casket or did they just donate? Did they donate uh, them and say you want to put some idea. buttons on these? Not my idea. Yeah, yeah. And what year did you say you started? 83. 83? And you're currently how old? 82. 82? Yeah. <laughs> 82, 83, getting tongue-tied here, huh? Well, thanks a lot. I thought I was going to leave without meeting you. I was going to have to come back. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Just uh, finished going through the button museum, and I'm I'm left with a, a feeling that I, I didn't expect before I got here. I thought, well, I was going to come to a, a museum, and I was going to see a lot of things covered with buttons. But it's a, this is a much more personal personal experience here, and you just you just kind of walk in the door and turn the light on and and look around, and uh, I mean, you say, why would someone do this? Well, he said it was from insomnia, and. Uh, I mean, where do you where do you even get a casket and then where do you even get the idea well I'm gonna start putting buttons on a casket and then when you're done with one casket I'm gonna put buttons on another one and then uh, cover piano I don't know this guy but uh, I really appreciate that, you know everyone's it makes me feel like that everyone is an individual and that that expression is so so much more than just uh, verbal or or, uh, or actions it's, uh, what people do, what, what, what drives people, and this is a prime example of art, it's an example of uh, 
uh, a little bit of crazy, I would say. Um, uh, I mean, we're in South Carolina. We're in the middle of nowhere, and this guy was uh, heavily supported by his wife Ruth, who died in 2008. And uh, I mean, they they must have been a very dear couple. And this is what uh, what what made him the the Biden King is uh, this. And this single structure with buttons laying on the ground and a uh, donation box at the door with money in it. And uh, If you are in or about the area traveling, you know, along to somewhere else, uh, we're not far from Myrtle Beach, uh, centered not far from the state uh, capital, Columbia. It's only 46 miles from Columbia to Bishopville. It's a nice, calm, pleasant town wouldn't even call it a town just uh it's a cotton building city so just uh keep this in mind and if you're looking for something off the beaten path this is definitely a definitely a rare find and uh well worth the uh the time and uh, i give it on my list here today an a plus